Hey guys, it's Christina Marie from Very Easy Makeup. So what I wanted to do today was dye my hair um, blonder again. But unlike my other videos today, I just wanted to use toner and see what it looks like. Um, so here you can take a look at my hair. Um, I like how the ends look right now. I think they look good. But at the roots, you can tell it's showing through and it doesn't show up super well on the camera. But I'll tell you, in person, my hair is looking pretty orange. And despite using um, purple shampoo, which works really well at the ends, um, my hair doesn't look the best at the roots. So I'm going to see what happens if I just use toner and take out the step of bleaching it. So what I'm going to do first is usually what you do is you bleach your hair and then you apply the toner. Um, and then when you're applying your toner, it's on kind of wettish hair. Obviously, my hair is completely dry right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get it a little bit wet and then come back and apply the toner. So now that my hair is what the directions would call towel dried, meaning just slightly wet, I can use the toner. So I'm going to use this um, from Sally's to mix it up. And I actually already have some Wella toner left over from last time. I'm going to use the well T, Wella T35 toner today. It comes in a package like this. And what you're gonna do is you mix two parts developer with one part toner. Um, right now I can tell it's to the white line on the packaging. So what I'm gonna do is pour this into my mixer, this thing. Like that and then just double check I got the ratios right one part toner with two parts developer so I have a big thing of developer here I use the 20 developer I think it works out really well I'm just gonna pour it into this as my measuring device so I'm gonna add that in here And then one more. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm just gonna shake it up and apply it all around my hair. Unlike bleach, um, which I'm skipping today where you have to be pretty careful. Um, you don't want to overdo the fronts. So you have to be careful about leaving it on too long, or at least I worry. Um, I feel a little bit safer using toner. So I'm gonna see how it works. Um, I find it easiest to use gloves, so I'm gonna put those on. I always just buy a pack of like 35 from Sally's. It makes it super easy. And the good thing about toner is you don't have to be careful. Um, I just squirt it on and I'm just gonna apply it all around my head. I wanna focus on the front part, so I'm just gonna focus on that this morning. <laughs> So one thing to take note is you want to be very careful when doing bleach and toner to make sure that you get it right up at the roots, especially along your for, um, forehead line because that is where it's going to be most obvious if you miss it. So I'm just going to continue applying this to the rest of my head. <laughs> As you can see, I'm almost done. Um, I ended up taking the lid off of the bottle and just dumping the rest on my head. I got the roots at the top, which is where I wanted to focus. And then I'm just gonna put this around the rest of my head, massage it in, and that's it. It's super easy to use toner. So just gonna go like this, wrap it up with a hair tie. Um, the directions say you can leave it on up to 30 minutes. I think 20 minutes should do the trick. So I'm going to leave this on my head for 20 minutes 
and then rinse it off in the shower with conditioner um, then let it air dry and then I'll come back to show you guys what the end result looks like so this is what my hair looks like after using just the Wella T35 toner. I am very, very happy with the results. It completely stripped out all of the orange that I had showing at my roots, which I hated, and it blended everything. So as you can see now, um, it all blends in very, very nicely um, and looks natural. So I am loving it. So in summary, if you just want to use toner without bleaching your hair first, that is definitely possible to do. I will say you can only do this if your hair is light. Um, so my hair was pretty blonde before using the toner, so I could get away with just using toner. If you truly want to go a couple of shades lighter, you will need to bleach your hair first. And I have other videos on my channel um, from Very Easy Makeup on how to do that. Please subscribe to my channel up here. I'll be posting a lot more videos. As you can tell, I have uh, no fear with trying out new things with my hair. I also try to keep my makeup really simple, so I'll be posting beauty and makeup reviews for easy products. None of those 20 minute complicated YouTube videos like other girls out there. Thanks guys and enjoy your afternoon.